kind of went in with an open mindset, I guess. You know, I signed up for this. I knew it was going to be challenging. And I just tried to take it all in and listen to my drill instructors and be willing to participate. You obviously have to be willing to participate. You have to want to be on sort. You have to have the willingness to try and not give up. So that was my mindset, basically. Yeah, so sword training, uh, it's a week, it's five days. It is a little bit on the intense side. Uh, it's a challenge. It's meant to be a challenge. Yeah, it is physically, but mentally. It really tests your mental capabilities. It helps you come together as a team because when you're in those intense moments out in the field, you need to be able to come together and trust your teammates. Overall, it was really fun, honestly. I enjoyed it. You get a lot of support from the other members of SORT who have, who have already been on it and who are teaching you everything that you're supposed to know, all of the drill instructors there. You go through advanced self-defense. When you go through SORT Basic, you learn about cell extractions building entry, did repelling, lots of interesting and cool things. That was scary, but again, I wanted to trust my drill instructors, I wanted to challenge myself. So like I said, I trusted them and I went for it and I think I did it a total of three times and I repelled inverted one time. So that's like going head first down, which was really cool. And I hope that I'm able to do it again one day and get really good at it. It was just a training exercise, like going into buildings where people had weapons and just trying to work together as a team and figure out the best route to make the area safe again. I was the last man standing, so it was honestly terrifying. We had gone in in the straight line. Most of them got shot down by the instructors. So I grabbed two friends and pulled them off to the side. We had taken down one instructor and then we were working on the next two. And we ended up tagging one and then my two squad mates had gotten taken down and then I was stuck with one instructor for about 15 minutes. It was just me and him, but I couldn't get an angle on him. Tried to go up and do it and he got me. Instructors ended up winning, but it really was, a, it was an awesome experience to have. You never get to do something like that out there. Just learning about how important it is to communicate, how important it is to have a team leader in a situation like this, and how important it is to stay calm. I think it's so important for people to get out of their comfort zone and see what potential you have. I never thought I would be repelling. I never handled guns until I started working here. Next thing you know, I'm shooting rifles and shotguns and I'm enjoying it. You don't have to just settle. If you want to be challenged, working in a correctional facility is a great way to get you out of your comfort zone to learn so many new things and you're just gonna see how much you grow as an individual. And I just absolutely love that.